Riviera Maya. There's a happy, happy birthday sign on there. I guess for my 50th last month. And it's a pretty good run. It's freezing right now. We do have a bit of an ocean view up there, which is pretty neat. Balcony. And kind of an odd feature with this room right here. I guess to each their own, but um, there's just a window into the shower. <laughs> So I am back at it after a few months without a trip. Um, haven't done a lot since got back from uh, the trip with my dad to uh, Normandy and uh, World War One and World War Two battle sites um, this summer, sort of the end of July. And so right now, just Sarah and I just showed up at uh, the Hyatt Zalara. Uh, Riviera Maya all-inclusive adults only resort and we're gonna be here a couple nights and then over to the Hilton and Playa del Carmen uh, for a night so we're kind of regulars there but not a bad start to the trip weather's not perfect but the beach is nice the place is nice the food's good um, so it's just just the end of hurricane season and so there is a hurricane north of uh, uh, the Cancun area, but we're a bit south, so hopefully tomorrow's gonna be a nice day. Um, but yeah, this is just a um, long weekend and, and taking a day off from work, um, just to kind of get refreshed and recharged. Veterans Day weekend. Um, but the real quick summary, I know sometimes, uh, especially my brother likes to hear how we do it. So um, this one to, this one to Mexico was we used miles on American to fly direct on Saturday morning today from Raleigh Durham to Cancun. And then we got a private driver, the 35 minute ride down here. And then we used 21,000 points um, a night for a couple nights each um, to stay at the Hyatt All Inclusive, which is an awesome deal. They always say uh, with Chase points, it's one of the best things you can do when you transfer them is to transfer them to Hyatt. And for an All Inclusive, um, really huge, huge, um, you know, deal you can get out of your points there. So that was 42,000 points for that. And then tomorrow after, or uh, in a couple of days, when we go to the Hilton in Playa del Carmen, amazing place that we love and we're regulars there. We're just making a 24 hour stop there. Uh, it was $290 after tax for the all-inclusive. And we used our semi-annual uh, $200 Hilton Aspire um, fee or you get reimbursed, I guess, for charges. And so that $290 we've already paid and 200 has already been reimbursed. So really just for the, for the driver to get us down here um, from Cancun, um, we had to pay a little bit for that. And then 90 bucks for the Hilton all inclusive. And then we're just taking a bus, a regular 80 bus that we've done many times um, from the Hilton Playa del Carmen down to the Cancun airport for the way back. So really just a, a four day, three night trip and, and it was a pretty good deal for us and uh, pretty good use of points and miles. So, cheers.
So I got up pretty early in the morning, actually just before seven, to, I was up anyways, but to come and claim a chair at the Hyatt. We're at uh, just north of Playa del Carmen. So I just grabbed that spot right there with those two towels. Um, not really sure, but I just look a little quieter side, so I think it's the better spot to be. Um, over there, that little hut is where you can get the towels. The beach is just off in the distance. There's the first restaurant we went here for lunch yesterday. And then over on this side, it's a little bit louder. Well, quite a bit louder. One of the bars is right there. Just Sarah and I played a little basketball yesterday. Played horse. Um, <clears throat> we were sitting yesterday over there by the beach. And there's the swim up bar. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's a uh, little bit of a cooler morning. Um, but it's supposed to be in the next four or five hours. It's supposed to be nice for maybe some rain this afternoon. But this is kind of the calm for the storm. Um, and I just uh, worked out a little bit in the gym, which wasn't too bad. But uh, yeah, I'm just getting ready to go eat breakfast and be ready for the day ahead before we go to another resort tomorrow. So I imagine we will spend a bit of time over here. said we got our seats right in the front row over here on the sort of quieter half of the pool but the Hilton, the Lara Riviera Maya, adults only and it is definitely a pretty place the beach is really nice so we'll go out there and test the water out later um, Sarah's over there enjoying her book. It's not, not 11 yet in the morning. They just set up for pickleball and it did get a lot of rain last night, but it's supposed to be a really nice day today and tomorrow. And overall, I'd say uh, it's a really nice resort. Not very big, not a lot of food options. Um, they do try with the entertainment. Uh, it was neat to be able to watch college football in the sports bar yesterday, which is kind of rare when you go to Mexico. Lots of games on. Um, and then today they're gonna open up the sports bar for NFL Sunday, which is really cool. Uh, so I'd say we, we didn't have, last night we said didn't have a lot of food options. There was a grill outside, Mexican food. And we did eat at the Japanese restaurant, just had something little. Room service is amazing, there's a huge list of things you can get there so we'll probably try that later today um, and then uh, we're gonna probably go to Capri Grill tonight which is more of Italian and pasta and like I showed yesterday we ate at Lola Beach restaurant yesterday which was good um, so yeah should be a great day a great day out here 